Welcome once again. Right now we're in Galatians chapter 3. Faith versus Torah? Paul writes, Foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you not to obey, obey there, obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was openly portrayed among you as crucified? I just want to learn this from you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by hearing of faith? Are you so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are you now completed in the flesh, if it is indeed in vain? He, therefore, who supplies the Spirit to you and does miracles among you, does he do it by the works of the law or by hearing of faith? Even so, Abraham, quote, believed God and it was counted to him for righteousness. Again, Paul quotes Torah, Genesis chapter 15, verse 6. Know therefore that those who are of faith are children of Abraham. The scripture foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith preached the good news, preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham. Huh? The gospel? The gospel. There is only one gospel. There is no two gospels here. God does not have a double standard. He is not a hypocrite here. There is only one gospel. It is the gospel of Yeshua, the gospel of Jesus, preached to Abraham. Yes, preached to Abraham, saying, In you all the nations will be blessed. Again, quote from the Torah, Genesis chapter 12, verse 3, chapter 18, verse 18, chapter 22, verse 18. So then, those who are of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. For as many as are of the works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who doesn't continue in all things that are written in the book of the law to do them. Deuteronomy chapter 27 verse 26. Notice Paul is quoting from the quote-unquote law of Moses here to prove this doctrine. In other words, this doctrine is from the Torah, a.k.a. this doctrine is the doctrine of Torah. Now that no man is justified by the law before God is evident, for the righteous will live by faith. Again, Paul quotes the Old Testament here, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. The law is not of faith, but the man who does them will live by them. Again, quoting from the Torah, Leviticus chapter 18, verse 5. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. Again, from the quote-unquote law of Moses, Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 23. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. This is, without a doubt, very, very deep. This is very confusing. A lot of people misunderstand this completely. This is what Peter warned us about in 2 Peter chapter 3. Peter's last words to us. Hey, you know what? When it comes to li living in personal holiness and living spotless in this day and age, many people misunderstand Paul to their own destruction. And indeed, what Paul writes is hard to understand. If the apostle Peter says this, how much more is it hard to understand 2,000 years after the fact in a different culture, in a different age? And as I always say, seek God with all your heart and you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.